So how long have you been living here? In, in Belgium. Sure, in Belgium. Um, uh, since uh, three, uh, two years and some months I'm living here in Belgium. Two years and seven months? No, uh, no, no. no. Uh, three years and some months, uh, like some three months, months or two months I'm living here. یک جای باشین اتفاق باشه باید خب در یک مظاهره اول نمیست اوکی خو می از دیجی دیجی اکسپلیک لو دوزیم سی اون اکشن پبلیک سا به یک سال ما هم نیست Oh, you sure? We are insisting it's a different culture. It's a respect for that we are insisting people. When guests come to our house, we will sing, eat this, drink this, eat it. Well, three, three months, or sometimes one month, and sometimes two months, but normally three months we just eat. But it, it's better than that. Right, yeah. yeah. Yes, you are because we had a lot of problems with police as well. In the administration, ah, so well, they arrest people out. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and tell us your name and where you're living, just a brief synopsis about who you are. Uh, my name is Samir uh, Hamdard. I came from Afghanistan. I live uh, from 13 years here in, in Belgium and Brussels. And what's your current situation like as you're seeking asylum or have you already received your papers? Uh, I have received my papers after being <coughs> seven, years, sorry, seven years illegal in the same situation. So I did also, uh, there are some pictures, uh, the same actions, uh, and, uh, hunger strike. Uh, so <coughs> so uh, uh, because of that action we did, I received my papers. So you mentioned that you did a hunger strike? Yes, we did an hunger strike of three, 33 days, and after that we received our resident cars to stay here. Again. And what was your life like when you were living as an illegal refugee in this country? Uh, uh, actually, when you're illegal in that country, uh, you don't have the right of nothing. You don't have a right of medical, you don't have a right to, 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 to be in the centrum, as in centrum. You don't have a house, nothing, you're on the street. <coughs> so for that, uh, when you're becoming illegal, and uh, it's, uh, it's also dangerous to go back to that country that is in war. So you must accept to live in the streets, uh, in the central stations. And when the time it's warm, it's summer, it's okay, no problem. But when it becomes cold and uh, winter here in Europe, it's too cold, then unacceptable. And for that, that push uh, people to make actions like today, like we did, like others did before, to protest and to, to find a solution. So I understand that you are one of the first to kind of spearhead this movement, correct? Yes, uh, I just, uh, they choose me when, <coughs> when I came <laughs> to them with them. When I find them on the street, a lot of families, and uh, when I spoke with them, because they, we are from the same country, so um, I find them not, uh, I, I didn't find it um, justice for them that, <coughs> they, sorry, they can go back to Afghanistan. Afghanistan is really dangerous and there was uh, on the street 
uh, the family's children and, and some young. Um, so we, 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 we spoke <coughs> and we said, look, normally our country is on war and we must do something to show for the people uh, that we are existing and why we are in that situation. So we begin there and, uh, and then they chose me as a, a spokesman uh, for the group and, <coughs> and we continue to work with them and today we are here. So I understand your family also lives here. How has that process been? No, I'm uh, I'm alone. But after that, uh, my family, a member of my families, a lot of them, they are still in Afghanistan. A lot of them here, they are in Europe, but not in Belgium. Uh, but those families, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry. Uh, those be- those uh, people that they are living here. Um, I feel them all my families because we are coming from and from this six seven months we are living together we are becoming really near to each other okay so we were talking about this community and this community and the community all in Europe so the first we begin it here and to say to the government of Belgium look, this community is uh, existing and they are illegal and they are you are putting them out of the syndrome out of procedure of asylum and they are on the street you can't send them back because you know that Afghanistan is dangerous so you don't, you can't let them on the street like that. It is unhuman. That is that we, we ask the government. You must find a solution for these people. So when you can send them <coughs> back to Afghanistan because you know that it's dangerous and you don't accept them here because you say that we don't, it's not acceptable for us. So they then find a solution. What they do, where they will go. So that what we are protesting. And at the same time, the government accepted with us that we said, okay, we believe that <coughs> there is a problem in our administration, asylum uh, procedure, so they must come again to us. We will examine uh, the files and we will see to who we, we gave and to whom we don't give. <coughs> our asking was to make uh, uh, accept that all Afghanistan is dangerous and these people can go back. They accept that half and more than half is dangerous, but some areas are not dangerous. But those people, they are coming here, they are from those areas that it's dangerous. Mm-hmm. So uh, that, that is the negotiation <coughs> for, the, sorry, for the moment that we are. And now they ask asylum, we wait for the result, what, what will change in their situation. Okay. Okay. So of the people, I understand that a large percentage of people have been granted asylum that were living in this church. No, there is different. Uh, their files went to the um, uh, uh, commissariat general uh, to examine them. They didn't uh, receive until now uh, a residence here. So just they went up to the commissar of the refugee uh, to examine the files and to decide for them. So what happened? <coughs> now he decided that he must uh, give them a resident co- permit to stay here, mm-hmm. or they must refuse them. So mm-hmm. we are we are waiting just for that. And for the moment, <coughs> yesterday just one family got um, a negative decision. They got a negative decision for one family. Uh, so now we are going Friday to protest against the commissariat of their asy- uh, asylum uh, to say that why. Uh, the reason you gave it that you, you say that you can return back mm-hmm. but then send them mm-hmm. when you can't send them back to Afghanistan and you don't accept so there is a problem we don't know then you, you can't let them on the street okay. Thank you. Thank you no problem much. no problem Thank you.
ايش عاورت بسرعة شو كده مي واخيسته ايه مخيش انا مخيش اتا مخيش اي كلام عليك دخمة عليك دخمة لدي واهي مخيش عليك باد باد سميلة باد Okay, so can you just say your name and where you're from and just into the community? Okay. My name is Bashar Dost. My, uh, my father's name is Jalaluddin. I'm I from Afghanistan, from Kunar province. And how, how long have you been living in Belgium? Uh, I since from two years and two months. And before that, did you live anywhere else? Yeah, three months I was in Greekland, and then I, I come to that side to Belgium. And so, what's your situation like now? Uh, here, or uh, here we are still living in the church. We have a place for sleeping, and we have a papers for working, and we have a school. So for that, it's very difficult for us that we live outside. Uh, we have a little bit friend from center, but normally what? What should we do with them? Because we have own problem. They, they, they are solve the problem. So for that, I, especially I, cannot live because I want to make my future. My future was good in Afghanistan, but suddenly I have problem with that people, and then I come there. And now here I'm also in problem that I have, an, I'm, I have nothing there. Right. So what do you hope now? I like to study, I like to sport, I like to take after study a job and uh, after I, I engage in Afghanistan and then maybe I try to marry. So what kind of job would you like to have if you could? I, I was still working at Afghanistan's computer <coughs> and, uh, uh, to, for uh, a computer office work to finance ministry in Afghanistan and now I want to be like that I want to try if I have a chance there right so what's life been like living in the church life is normally not bad not good but uh, uh, up to which time we are still live there we don't know that and I just give it to you and I wait for my answer then I will see that what will become in my future thank you welcome thank you so much for how long have you lived here? I here three years. Three years? Yeah. And are you currently living in the church? Yes. yes. And you're waiting on your asylum papers? Yes. Do you hope to receive your papers soon? Do you have an appointment? Um, I don't know. I don't know.